but what's new? There's a red lion in back there. When I first moved here, I got rear-ended by a lady who worked there. So then every time I drove down the street past that red lion in, I saw the car and put a big hole in my bumper. So if U is going to G of A, then H is going to go to zero. So this is going to be F of H plus G of A. After class, Emily and I, that's not Emily, that's a <laughs> pepper shaker. Emily and I came to the food zoo to get some breakfast food. Still on that low carb diet. It's been, uh... Two weeks and two days, 20 something days to go. Claire's really excited because her diet allows her to have carbs today. A lot of carbs. But for the first time in how long? A week? Caitlin Hoffmeister. Michael Aranda. Why does Diet Dr. Pepper taste so good? Because it tastes just like the original. You're right. Stefan was just curling these frickin' water things. I can't even lift it with one arm. You can't lift it with one arm? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you broke your elbow. <laughs> Ow, I bit my lip. <laughs> Injured. We're gonna go on a hike to the M. You're in your element amongst oh, yeah. the animals. Oh, I'll keep this. <laughs> Hello. Michael Gardner <laughs> invited us to dinner at his place this evening, so that's why we're out here with all of the animals. Oh, there's a kitty. Hi, kitty. Oh, hi. And you have chickens too. Yeah, they're out. Out that side. Fine. And we have a giant turkey that's two years old that I don't have the heart to kill. Look at that meat. That meat. So continuing the trend of uh, lost dogs here on what I'm doing right now. Uh, this dog apparently showed up at uh, the gardener's place. And nobody knows who it belongs to. She's been here for three and a half hours. Yeah. <laughs> really wanted in. That's so weird. Well, she's probably more of an indoor dog. What is your name? Man, stop here. moving. Whoa. Hey, Claire. Hey, Michael. By the time people see this, this will be like 14 days ago or something. Right. <laughs> um, but for me, it's a video that I just posted uh, a day or two ago. Um, you and I were going to Cafe Dolce for lunch. Okay. And. You had commented, I think before I started filming, about how you thought you looked like a ragamuffin. Yeah. And then in the video, I used the word again, and then you used the word again. Right. A friend of mine, Raven, commented on the video and pointed out something that I had no idea of. What? Apparently, ragamuffin is uh, a racist term. Is it really? <laughs> oh, God. Apparently, yes. Oh, no. Um, I had no idea. It's... It has something to do with um, the, the culture surrounding reggae music. Oh. Kind of in the same way that um, white people used the word nigger to uh, oppress black people. Um, there was something similar around the word ragamuffin and, and similar to the word nigger, the way that um, black culture sort of... Uh, then embraced that word and used it as their own. They, they commandeered it away from the white people. Um, there was something similar that happened with the word ragamuffin. Uh, so I, after she left this comment, I went back and I read the Wikipedia article or some kind of, I don't know if it was Wiktionary or something, some article somewhere on some webpage about it. And I was like, oh, interesting. Well, maybe, oops. maybe not saying that word anymore would be good. Okay. I apologize. I didn't know that. That's just... I thought it was just a cute way of saying, like, I'm kind of gross right now. <laughs> I think... I remember your mom using the word when she was... 
is at here as well. That's where I got it. Is my I mom said it, but they say it on How I Met Your Mother. It will have to be more PC. 